Welcome to Upper Excellence Tutorials. And uh, in this video, we are going to solve a question on um, circular motion. A gentle reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as well as uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Okay, so we have a question here. A woman places her briefcase on the back seat of, the, of her car. As she drives to work, the car negotiates an unbanked curve in the road that can be regarded as an arc of a circular radius, a circle of radius 62 meter. While on the curve, the speed of the car is 15 meter per second at the instant the briefcase starts to slide across the back seat towards the side of the car. So question A says, what force causes the centripetal acceleration of the briefcase when it is stationary relative to the car? And then it goes further to say, what condition, what, under what condition does the briefcase begin to move relative to the car? Okay, so, What we have here, okay, on the other side, I've just uh, drawn something of which we say that is the, that we are seeing there is, is the illustration of the briefcase in the car. So what's going to happen is that as this woman is negotiating the curve, which is an unbanked curve. So once we hear of unbanked curve, we, what should come in our mind is that there is friction force or the aesthetic friction force. So the only force that is acting in the horizontal is the friction force. The static friction force is the only force that is acting in the horizontal. And this static friction force is acting towards the center, okay? It's acting towards the center to the right as the car is negotiating so that the briefcase doesn't go away to the left side, okay? So that force that is causing the briefcase not to go away to the left side, side of the car, is the friction force that is acting towards the center. So this static friction force would be the force that will cause or what, that will give a centripetal acceleration to the briefcase, okay? So now, under what condition does the briefcase begin to move relative to the car? So if the fr static friction force is greater than the, centrip uh, the centripetal force, we are going to see that uh, if the friction force is greater than fr central centripetal force, we are going to see that the briefcase is not going to move. Okay, the briefcase is not going to move. If the centripetal, the, the fric static friction force is greater than centripetal force, the briefcase is not going to move. Like that. The briefcase is not going to move. The briefcase is only going to move if the friction force is equal to the static friction, uh, the centripetal force. So now, what is the friction force? So in this case, we have the normal force. We have also the weight. So we can say we have the normal force here. We have the weight. And then in this direction, we have the friction force, static friction force. So we see that friction force is given by new times normal force, of which normal force is actually equal to the weight, so which is mg. So we have new mg being equal to centripetal force, we know that is given by mv squared over the radius. Okay, so m and m cancels, and then we are going to have new being equal to v squared over our g. 
So this is the condition that the, 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 the briefcase is going to it will begin to move relative to the car. Only when the, this is static friction, of course. So when the static friction force equal to a centripetal force. So with that, we can even be able to, to calculate now what we've been asked. It's just to plug in, in B. Okay, we've been asked to find the static, the coefficient of static friction of which we have that equation. So we have um, the speed is 15 meter per second squared of 62 times 9.81 meter per square second. So once we punch that, what we have is 225, 608.22. And then we get static friction also to be 0 0.37. So this is how you get to calculate that one. If you have found this video to be helpful, kindly share, like, comment, and then we are going to appreciate.